Hello. Um, today I'm going to be doing a drawing from start to finish um, in my style. Um, so what I like to do first is um, I get to do this zoomed into about this amount. That way um, I can just I'm working on bigger, longer, straighter lines, and it, it just um, makes things a little bit easier. Uh, all right, um, so I'm working in vector, and I've got a, a setup here which um, increases the uh, contrast of the lines, and it's just a, a gradient map. Um, so I'll click on there. So I've just set the position of a standard gradient map to 40 and that seems to um, strengthen the lines but I, I um, strengthen the lines even further further in Photoshop and I can put that into the process as well so <clears throat> see back onto this layer so zoomed into about this much and this I like to just start drawing um, I think that this might be a bit bit small so zoom in again um, <clears throat> um, yes yeah, about right so there's only so much <clears throat> that I can put on here okay So I'm pretty much, you'll notice that I'm getting straight into the drawing. And reason being is um, I can always come back and edit anything that it's not, um, not to my liking. Or I think that it's not, not working. Or needs to be fixed so um, <clears throat> working in vector I can do things like this and just get rid of the uh, cells a bit too strong I'm trying not to be um, too strong with the line with uh, <coughs> with the lines I'm just trying to get See, I need to be zoomed in a bit more. So you notice I'll, I'll zoom in and out just so I can see a bit more what's going on. Oops, all right. So a good thing to do is um, is every now and then you should, well, I reckon you should flip the canvas um, just to see because sometimes things that to appear to read um, one way uh, when you flip it, it's like it's like it doesn't doesn't read. Uh, what I mean is it just looks out of whack, um, doesn't look right. So it's uh, every now and then just flip the canvas and you'll probably see straight away that it looks a bit odd. Um, but probably once you start um, drawing um, and doing it this way for a while, you'll sort of almost ex instinctively um, You'll start your behavior, how you're drawing will will change. Um, hopefully. So this this video is not sped up or slowed down. Um, this is real time. My tummy keeps pushing the space bar. I'll move that. Um, 
Yes, so got the basics down here. And <clears throat> may not be perfect drawing this this method um, drawing straight out. But what I'm looking at when I am drawing is um, if I'm drawing a leg over here, so I'll start the first line, and then I'll start the second line. Okay, so obviously that doesn't look right. Um, so what I'm I'm looking at for is as I start to draw the second line, I'm thinking about this distance here. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. So I'm thinking about the mass here as I start the second line. Okay, and don't think you you have to be, be um, stuck with what you've got um, once you've put the lines down because, oh no, that isn't right. Maybe it needs to be a bit more like so. Okay. And once you get the other elements in as well, that's um, you can sort of match everything up. Um, so unless you have everything down, um, um, it's hard to match up. Um, so it's, it's just a starting point, and then we just go from there. Oops, I don't need that. Uh, um, I really do enjoy working with Clip Studio because because of the vector aspect to it and also the um, lines moving um, that probably don't even I don't even notice now but um, it just makes I don't know what percentage of smoothing is on the um, the brush uh let's see it probably won't let me go in there so I press stabilization six so that's a smoothing setting and there's other smoothing settings in there and it, it, depending on how fast the brush is going it just um it just makes makes it a bit more <clears throat> a bit easier and you sort of get things more in 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 a one pass, which is uh, good for line work. Now I'm using a Wacom Wacom Cintiq um, HD. I forget which, which exact model it is. Twenty four, I think. Um, and mostly the brush I use is the one I'm using now. I don't really at this moment have a like another sketch brush or anything like that. Why is that? Probably. Um, I don't have a a, a, a separate s sketch brush. Um, so I'm using a keyboard <coughs> that has six. Um, See, I turn the oh, wrong one. Uh, I have six. Uh, right, won't let me do it that way. Um, that's a long wind way of getting rid of that. Uh, right. Uh, six com custom functions, and it's and it comes quite in handy, especially if you just want to have a uh, right. Um, I tend to use with the hands. Um, that's probably not the best thing to do, but the same pose. Um, pretty much all the time. So maybe I'll learn some new ones one day. So 
So talking about relationships, I think that the, that thumb is a little bit too big. Um, so I'll just correct that. Okay. Um, now I pretty much how I'm drawing is inspired by um, Kim Jong Un. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably most definitely I'm not. Um, but you ever watch watch him draw? It's just amazing. I don't, um, I don't aspire to be, or you know, I don't feel that I could ever be as good as him. Um, but that's just where I sort of started, um, just doing it this way without the pre sketches. Um, not saying you can't. Okay. Um, so, because I'm using a digital medium, um, any uh, just looking a bit any any changes I need to make, I can I can do it. So it doesn't really matter oh dear. if I'm drawing the same line. I think it's because it's got that's putting me off. Doesn't really matter if I make a mistake because I can just come back in and edit it. So if I'm drawing it straight out, um, then okay. So I'm happy with that. Um, hand might be too big. Ah, go with that. So I'm. Um, you might think, oh, why is why is we well, haven't even drawn the face yet? What what's going on there? Well. I'm trying to match up the, it's probably the wrong way to do it, but it's just how I've been doing it. Match up the head because I, I find myself normally drawing the head too big or uh, mostly too big. Um, and if I just draw it, not separate, but um, draw the main mass first and I can just sort of size it up to get better proportions. Um, it is meant to be more stylized than, than more of a real, less of a real type of drawing. Um, so it's more, I think more cartoony, more comic-y than, than actual real life. Um, uh, okay. So I'm not aiming for absolute realism. Some some images are a bit more cartoony than others. So here's what I mean. I'm, I'm looking for the thickness of the arm there. So I'm just judging what I think is the right. And if it's not right, I can come back and adjust it again. Um, I've got an annoyingly running nose. So I have to keep pausing the video this you don't want to hear that okay um, um, this needs to straighten up about here so starting and finishing a line is not the best thing for nice clean lines um, more you can do without stopping is uh, tends to look better uh, yep so really maybe I'll experiment a little bit here so normally I, you might notice that, I might fix it up here, 
that when I draw my fingers, I tend to draw, and it looks sort of like there's only two joints, but there's actually three. Um, I don't know if it's a style thing or a lazy thing, um, but that's just how I seem to do it for some reason. Okay, uh, so now as I start to draw this hand, I'll be looking at how it references to there. So a little thing aside, so this, uh, this uh, all the names of the fingers, um, pointer finger needs to be longer than this one, and then that, the next one needs to be longer than that one. It's by a little. Okay. Uh, we are getting there. Okay. So sometimes if I'm not sure about the hands, um, I just draw them as a separate, not um, separate layer. So if I need to adjust the pose a little bit, um, it's a lot easier to do it that way. Okay. So sometimes I think, well, maybe that that arm is not going to be in the best position. So what I'll do is I'll create a, a new layer, let's say fill. Okay, instead of deleting that line there, I'll put this over here. And maybe the, maybe the arm was over this area. And I don't like how it's there. That way... I haven't lost that line there. Um, so back to, but I haven't done it in this case. So, so this to me that looks way too thick. Um, not the arm. I mean the the line. It looks like it's a bit too strong. Um, so. This needs to be here anyway, so I need to rejoin that line anyway. Um, I'll lock that one. Oops, because it's I don't want to be drawing lines over over that. Okay. That looks a less um, not distracting. Less. It was just too strong for the rest of the drawing, and there was no reason for it to be strong. Okay. That's looking okay. Um, sometimes I think, oh, you know, that, that looks a little bit too big, and sometimes I think, oh, we'll just leave it, it's not that, I mean, I'll do a quick test, I suppose, so, uh, oop, not in, right, and so I'll put this little arrow here, so you just click on it and move it, and... I mean, it's only only fractionally a fraction of a difference. Okay. Okay. 
Now I'll start adding the... Now, I'm imagining that that is the center of the face. And I start drawing my eyes. Okay. Now, here's where we're flipping the canvas. Um, okay. This is where normally that I'll flip it and go, oh, that just looks out of whack. And normally it's one of the eyes looks too big flipped. I don't know if it's how my brain is processing. But when I flip it like this, the right, this eye now starts to look bigger. I don't know why. So here it looks smaller. And when I flip it, it looks almost bigger. I don't know why. It's some sort of optical illusion that that, that looks. But um, yeah, it's just a weird, a weird thing. Uh, it's probably something to do with my brain. I don't know. Uh, okay. So. So now we're sort of starting to get there. So now what I do is I like to strengthen the top of the eyelid just a little bit I always put the well always um, nowadays I seem to put the eyelashes are generally the only thing I, I, I draw on a separate layer Okay, so now start with the flip. Now, for some reason, it looks bigger. I don't know why. Okay, oh no, that looks alright. So, once I've got the eyes in, I will move on to the the nose. Actually, I'll put the. I put this. Uh, I think it's the iris in a separate, separate layer, as a raster file. Um, just so I can soften it a bit. So it's not not hundred percent black. Yep. Okay, uh, so Iris, you should name your layers. Okay, so I'll start another layer. Um, normally I get the eyebrows in first, but it doesn't matter. I may not be the best at eyelashes. Keeping the lower lashes are less, less uh, thick and dense as the upper lashes. Now you notice that I'm not drawing that line there. Um, you can do if you wish. Okay, so it's still on the eyelashes. Actually, one feature that I wish was in uh, Clip Studio. Um, some sort of like um, when you're working on a certain layer or a layer instead of having to look over you can't see look over here uh, there's a little pop-up here or wherever you want to place it that just shows you which layer you're working on um, would be nice would be a nice addition I think 
the amount of times I've, I've been working on the wrong layer and got, oh bugger, that is now not a vector layer and I have to draw it again. Oh, the other beauty about vector layers is you can, you can scale it up and you do not lose detail. The lines might be um, too thick. Um, it's looking quite nice. So, Probably not the best nose. Right, so I don't think I'll be too fancy with the lips today. Um, okay. So normally for me, a drawing takes, takes about 40 minutes. Start to finish, and that, that's just uh, like a figure illustration, it's no background or anything. Okay, so that probably needs to be yep. So it's all really about relationships here. So there to there uh, to there is when that starts to turn and depending on um, whether she's looking up or down will determine okay so the other thing about um, about vectors now I can click on that line there if I hold down control um, and press uh, backspace, backspace or delete, um, but I can't press delete now because it's a custom function. We'll get we'll get rid of lines and move lines. So just in case I move that where I shouldn't have, I want to do that. Um, and it doesn't matter unless you've got the layer layer locked like this one here is you can select every layer, any layer. So eyelash, see how it's gone to there? I release, it goes back to the body layers. So it's picking up every layer. Okay. So I might strengthen this. Now, I really should have added the eye, um, eyebrows um, earlier. But I'll put them in now. Okay, so while I'm here. For some reason, not my ear details always seem to be a bit, a bit too lightly drawn. I don't know, that looks, that looks all right now. I seem to be stuck in the same, not that it's a big problem, the same three quarter view when I, when I draw, okay, quick test, so this looks a bit lower than this one, I can press M and just raise it up a little bit, Maybe rotate it a little bit. Uh, 
needs to be more over here. So pretty much my whole, not my whole life, um, the whole time while I'm drawing this, my left thumb is on the space bar. And I'm just tapping on the screen with my pen. And when I zoom in, I hold down control. When I move it around, I just, I just, I tap and move. Um, I'll just pause for a second. So I just did a quick save. Um, <laughs> it's always good to um, be saving a lot of the time. Um, just in case the power goes off and you lose your work. I mean, it's not like drawing a piece of paper, power goes off. <laughs> Nothing really changes, but with digital work, um, make, um, save a lot. And the next save I'll do will be um, a different version. So you'll notice now that that's the name of the file. The next file will be version 2. And you notice how I've put the date there, and at the end I put lines. So when I'm searching in uh, File Explorer, I just type in 3110 in, so for this month, month's drawings, and this drawing will come up and it'll be the only drawing you'll see. Um, so if there's other versions, I'm not looking at all these other files, I'm just looking at the the ones I'm working on from that day. And also, if I now make another version, I'll change, change this, and I'll take off the lines, and leave the lines on uh, the final line version uh, for, the, for the Clip Studio file. And whenever I want to search lines, I just type in lines, and only the finished versions will come up. On the, on the screen in the search bar, which is um, proving to be quite handy. Um, I'm not sure if I add any more details to the eye, um, eyelashes, but what I might do is. So I'm not sure if this extra detail is. Um, Is even needed, but I'll put I've been putting it in uh, recently. Uh. And And even with my um, if, with my thumb on the space bar, if I press Control Z now, um, it still gets rid of that. So that is a massive bonus. Um, so you probably only want to put your specular highlight in at the end, but just as as we just say as a placeholder, I'll put one in now. just to give it a bit more. And what I like to do is now, just, it just sort of makes it stand out a bit more by putting a little line around there. Okay. So I think we are ready for the hair and then I'll finish off the feet. And maybe we wanna do that now. I'll do that now. So, edit change canvas size so I'll just make this bigger doesn't matter just look more bigger than a little bit bigger than I need okay um, so okay I think I'll only put one foot in in this drawing I might put two. So 
So I've been finding that that curve there is always seems to be a little bit wrong. So I think that's a bit better. But I'll look at it from a different angle just to see. I think that's okay. It does look like she has like really short legs. So now I'm thinking if I should um, pull this all down and just make the legs a little bit longer. Not that short legs is a bad thing, or I think. So we are working digital. Um, let's see what it looks like anyway. I think that looks better is the wrong word. I just think that looks more like the style that I was going for. Um, or more proportionate. Um, so uh, I'm pretty well look working on the finished pass as I go so the more I can get it um, established or cemented in the one pass uh, oh yeah it was a little bit too uh, so now now I'm doing this it's sort of whack put the lower half of the leg out of whack but I think I might have that is okay. So it's sort of kind of like sculpting in a way, and being vector, you know you can get rid of a lot of line I think that looks better um, probably still needs tweaking but I think I'll go with that how many toes do we see I think three might be enough. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I hope this is not making you dizzy, all this rotating. See, I can definitely see that that's, that there's not right. Um. Okay, um, how's that? Yep. Okay, so now I will That's sort of cheating a little bit. Okay, so now the the figures pretty much where I okay now time for the hair so I've created a few different shortcuts here just to make it a bit easier when they the lanes uh lanes layers 
Okay, so now the hair. I've sort of been doing like sort of windswept over the years of late. And just just big, big loopy. Not curls, I think curls is the wrong word. Um, at, at the base. And flicks out near the center. Okay. Uh, right. It's really starting to take shape now. Uh, no, that's that's all right there. Oops, cancel. So with the hair, whenever the hair starts to get um, bulkier, so like like here, you can see it sort of goes sort of thinner and now it gets bulkier. I generally like to indicate that by doing a little shape in here like that, just to show that, to help demonstrate that it, demonstrate, or, you know, illustrate that it's getting thicker. Before I get too far along, I probably need to uh, do this, but I'll just get this in first and hmm, looks a bit weird. Now, I'll go with that because we can change it later. Okay, so now I'll add a layer in beneath that layer. Doesn't matter what it's called, scalp. Um, but this is a raster layer, so this one here. Lasso fill. So whatever the hair is covering is now going to be removed. Like so. I'm pretty much almost almost finished. Okay. Uh, I need to concentrate here. Right. I'm if you have followed this far, then thank you so much. Um I'm not sure if I'll post this on YouTube or or my gallery. Uh, we'll see. So you're not trying to draw every every strand of hair, every line, just enough to indicate that it's that it's uh, there. So I drew through. Oops. Uh, now sometimes when I rotate it is just um, to make it so it's easier to draw the line so I find it's easier to draw a line probably maybe this way it's easier to draw longer straight lines. So if I've rotated it that way, that's is more likely that's what I'm trying to do. Make it easier. And if it's only a short line, it's not necessary to be. Photoshop doesn't tend to handle the um, the rotation I don't know it's just over it's a speed thing or 
it's just not as as fluid as as um, Clip Studio seems to be with the rotations. Okay, I mean you can also I think it's here. You can do it there. Okay, um, I don't think I need to do any more with the hair. I think that's you can overwork things. I think that's about right. Um, and I've got all the lines. So uh, I'll just pause here for a bit and open up Photoshop, load this file in, and I'll oh shit, wait a I'll show you what I then do to enhance the lines. So I'll just show you before I do that the difference between the unenhanced line. So so that what the image would look like um, without without the gradient map. It looks pretty. I know lacklustre, but I think that looks much better. Okay, so I'll just pause here for a second. Okay, so now I'm in Photoshop and I will open up, actually what I'll do is file, new, okay, so, so now what I'll do is um, I'll import that image into onto a new uh, Photoshop document. So file place linked. Okay, because I know the name of the file, I created 3110. Okay, so it's not the full name. And DR drawing number number two. Okay. And that brings up and just uh, searches for that file. Okay, so what I want now is I want this one, which is the latest version. Now, when it brings it in, um, it brings it in relating relating to the the uh, dimensions of of the current document. So this document is actually a bit smaller um, than the file I was working on. So I need to resize it up. So if I right click on here and go to reset transformations, now it is now the actual size that it was in the Clip Studio um, format. So I'll just undo that. Um, I actually created a quick action to do that on the side. So now that um, I've done that. Um, it doesn't fit, so I just click on the crop tool and just make it bigger. So now we can crop it, sort of more of a, a pleasing uh, crop. So whatever you think. I'm sort of not the best at cropping. Um, but if you are really good at um, composition, it will really help sell your artwork. Visually, I'm not talking monetarily. I'm still struggling with that myself. Um, yeah, I think it's about right. So I will just create a solid color under there. Okay. So what I'll now do is I'll put those two in a folder, okay? And I suppose I didn't need to add that, but in case um, the crop cropped into the image or cropped um, out further. So what I'll do now is I'll add an effect. So solid color now you could do this with a curves tool but i just find this um this this method is um quite nice uh, right so we double click here because we don't want black covering the whole image just the darkest part of the image um, we move this to the left and just get a so that's pretty much darkened up most of the line work 
and okay so once we get it roughly we want I click alt to split this and it just sort of favors it out um, okay now the effect is is like very can seem like it's very gradual when it's not doing anything anything at all but um, it is so if you look here but I don't want it to be totally black that area there to be totally black and it's just I think that's about spot on it's just really made that look um, just a little bit more it is very slight and maybe you can't even see it um, I want to zoom in see it's just, it's just strengthening the, the the line work it's probably a bit easier to see here but the overall effect has just made that look just that little bit crisper um, so now I would um, I probably should have signed that um, what I'll do now is um, I'll just wrap this up um, I hope you have uh, enjoyed following along and uh, watching me uh, get this drawing from start to finish um, I hope to post more um, but if you like it please please um, <laughs> two pleases um, just remember to hit that like button and subscribe and um, thank you so much I hope you have a great day